The goal in life is to get your heart light as a feather. That means you can't do them like they did you. Because you become what you hold on to now. Who you not letting go? And do you want to be like them? Do you want to be like them? Because it's only a matter of time before it's morphing time. Because it's only a matter of time before it's morphing time. Because it's only a matter of time before it's morphing time. Because it's only a matter of time before it's morphing time. And you look up and you be just like them. Trying to balance this shit out. Trying to balance your heart out. Man, let that shit go. Trying to balance your heart out. Man, let that shit go. Trying to balance your heart out. Man, let that shit go. Trying to balance your heart out. Man, let that shit go. Alrighty, family, shalom, shalom. Back at it again with another exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Wah, Kwadash, Rakah, giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. I want to say Barakatham to all of those who are being diligent inside of the truth, starting from the elders on down to the youth. Those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the what? The faith of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is our Edwan and our Amalak. But as we always love to make it known, hey, it's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. I know y'all seen the uh, video in the beginning, right? And what, um, you know, uh, that I want to say that sister, you know, was speaking. Because it's only a matter of time before it's morphing time. You know what I'm saying? And it was dealing with the matters of forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? And I've, I've come to my realization, you know, within spirit and in truth, you know, just speaking for myself personally. And as I meditate in the scriptures, and I pray um, Akim and Akwafim can take heed to this because it can possibly help you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who this message could be for, but what I can say for the most part, let every ear that is able to hear take heed, and every eye that's able to see still take heed. All right. So, um, going further into this, you know, I actually want to um, go over the scripture uh, in Mark chapter ten and verse fourteen, as y'all can see that scripture on the side of the screen, right? And um, and what's been going on? And like I said, this is something I came to my realization about. You cannot gain a better perspective. Of what it means to forgive if you don't humble yourself as a child all right many probably heard this but haven't heard it. you see what I'm saying you humbling yourself as a child that's how you're truly going to have it within yourself to gain a better perspective on what forgiveness is truly about you got to cut things off it's like this tree branch over here. It all. I pray y'all seen that by a quick second. Just like this one that's coming up. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see. See that branch? Getting cut off. The point is, you want to become as light as a feather. And this is something I usually speak on about when it comes down to Akim and Akwathim. You don't want to carry on burdens right that you know that the Lord has stated in the scriptures of you casting it on him meaning when you cast your burdens on the Lord that's you trusting in him like a child when it comes to a parent you see what I'm saying that child is trusting 
in that parent. So when it comes down to cares and everything else, all that child is really seeking for is comfort. You see what I'm saying? Comfort. You know what I'm saying? That TLC, that tender love and care. You see what I'm saying? But for the most part, if you even see how children operate, they're quick to forgive. You could, you could, you could uh, discipline your child, right? And in the midst of disciplining your child, that child will come up to you and still cater to you, still love you still be like do you want something to drink or do you want something to eat you see what i'm saying and you start thinking to yourself like damn and like no thank you thank you you see what i'm saying meaning they still had themselves to a bind to a mindset that's just catering you understand what i'm saying in the book of Mark chapter 10 and verse 14 it states but when Yahweh saw it he was much displeased mm. and said unto them suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not right for of such is the kingdom of God now I want y'all to really, really take heed to that. Because what Yahweh Shah is revealing here is the level of importance and why it is important for a child. I mean, for, well, I want to say for ourselves to be, as souls, to be in tune to that inner man. Because the inner man and where it stands at with kingdom principles is what will have you to operate childlike. Meaning you are now abiding to an estate that the heavenly, heavenly father is pleased with. And I say the heavenly father because if you look at Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah was displeased. So if Yahweh Shah was displeased, that means the father was displeased. But things that will line up to being uh, of great qualities that will motivate you more with the mindset that is of kingdom, meaning the th the very things that the father takes pleasures in. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you this, right? When you look at children, right? Children have following qualities following qualities children have following qualities all right like it states in here it say um forgiving kind obedient humble teachable eager to learn and completely trusting their parents just like what i was you know saying when I gave that analogy out, or should I say what I, you know, really that was of me, you know, because I bear witness to, you know, when I, when I disciplined my son and though he didn't like the discipline, but he was humble enough to still be who he is in expressing how much he loves me. You see what I'm saying? Which made me, you know, within the heart, you know, to, to acknowledge that quality and to be like, yo, walk with that same quality. Because if you if you if you think things through, that's that's what it's about when it comes to Yahbashimi Al Shah. When the father is disciplining us. He don't want us right after the discipline to be distant from him. Or having thoughts in our mind like, oh, he's not this and oh, he's not that. No, he wants us to operate still with the qualities that is a part of who he is and what is representing his image and his likeness. 
This scripture is made it known plain and clear in LC 144. All praise to the Most High. This scripture is made it known plain and clear, you know, when it comes down, you know, to how the Father disciplines those that He loves. This is real. When it comes down to growing in spirit and in truth, you have to love discipline. That's the evidence of the Rakak Wadash dealing with you or the Kwadash Rakab, the spirit of holiness or the Holy Spirit dealing with you, supping with you. Because this, the, 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 the spirit of holiness or the Holy Spirit is teaching us, molding, is a part of that process of molding and shaping us through that inner man to have us to be fitting for the kingdom. But it all comes from a place of what? Humbling yourself as a child. So I say these things for a reason, through the spirit, which I'm even of myself, you know, still taking hold of and still going to be throughout this day out of the inspiration of the Lord, meditating on it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can always learn something that will line up to what is pleasing unto the Lord. Because when it comes down to kingdom, we're supposed to be representing his image and his likeness. Not just through brotherhood shit or sisterhood shit or anything else that will be connecting us to everybody else. You got to know this for yourself personally. Because if not, you will be connected to those who are now fully ready for what the spirit of the Lord is doing through you. Mm -hmm. And this is the truth. That's why you gotta, you gotta, you gotta allow the Lord to order your steps, where you're tr you're truly in a, a state of what it means to operate in His righteousness. So, with that being said, I love y'all. Y'all stay up and stay blessed, and I pray that this exhortation will be something that will be not only of a reminder, but if it's something that you're not fully aware of, sup with the Lord in prayer today even more ask to order your steps as you will desire as he will desire for you to be operating within as his child so love y'all stay up stay blessed shalom 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 i want to be able to die empty i don't want nothing weighing me down that when I look into my creator and my creator stares back into me, I say, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got it. But they did this and did that to you. And you did that and you did this. I forgave them and I forgave myself. It ain't in me no more. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I died empty. I used everything that you did for me. Every talent that you put inside of me. Everything that you implanted in me. I used it and I needed every drop. I ain't got it. It took everything. It took everything inside of me to let that shit go. It took every drop inside of me to let that shit go. But I ain't got it, God. Look at me. I ain't got it. Light as a fucking feather. I ain't got it. I ain't mad. I don't hate nobody. I ain't trying to get even. I don't want my lick back. I ain't got it.